the same standards. Okay. Now, code enforcement fire marshal. Council. Uh, we talked about this last time about um, what we do. Um, first of all, do we want the chief to do the code enforcement? The county says it's our responsibility. Um, what do we do if somebody does not meet the uh, standards that the um, fire marshal sets or, or the county dictates? So those are those are questions that we have to work on. We need to have our city attorney uh, draw up a on these uh, on these civil ordinances, or and we need to give our fire marshal the authority to write citations for. Them. Okay. I, I recommend that we. This is a recommendation that we get our city attorney to draw the regulations. <coughs> well, you've already adopted all of the model building and safety codes they are already part of your ordinance. And, and the way you enforce them is by issuing citations to, to city court. So I, I think the mechanism is in place to do that already. Okay. Already. It's already there. So uh, all we have to do is appoint a fire marshal then, right? That's right. Make a motion that we appoint David Brown, city fire marshal and our assistant chief as his assistant fire marshal. You made a motion that we appoint David Brown, our fire marshal for the City Lake Park, and the assistant fire chief as the assistant marshal. In case we cannot get a hold of the fire chief. With authority to enforce. With, with the authority to enforce these said ordinances. Okay. Or regulations from the building permit. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Okay, discussion? Mr. Mayor. Yes. The individual in question with the fire chief, not necessarily referred to this individual, would be sworn in by our city judge as an officer of the court. Uh, that way you could write citations in case that happened to come up. Is that correct? So I'll, I'll make a, I'll make a amend the motion that we go by the chief's suggestion. It's the same same thing the county does for any of their. Will that fire will fire. that be uh, when will that take place? As soon as I can contact the judge and the city votes on that. Are you up to that task? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I we didn't discuss the fines and, and how long, you know, how many times we get back before we issue a fine, you know, you know. That's already just, that's already covered in our charter about our civil ordinances. And I did play a good school next year, you know, I'm gonna take a week's vacation and get a fire inspector class or get certified. So yeah, yeah, we need, yeah, I need, I need to do that. Yeah. Okay, um, this is something that was pretty much dropped in our lap from the county. I mean, we probably should have been doing it all along, but um, we have got to take the safety issues of our, of our city seriously because if there is a fire and we didn't enforce the codes, It'll come back on us, so we, we have to do it. It's for the it's for safety. <clears throat> um, okay, so do you want to repeat your motion one more time? That we appoint our fire chief and our assistant fire chief to be fire marshal and assistant fire marshal, and to give them authority as an officer of the court to issue citations for such violations. Okay, as at uh, fines and whatever it would be as per our city charter and there's one of civil violations. And there's one other person that we need to ask, and you're the assistant chief. Are you the, are you the assistant chief or are you the captain? Well, Who's the assistant <laughs> chief? <laughs> well, we're in a transition period right now, but I mean, you know, Gary's the assistant chief, but, you know, he that kind of work. Uh, I mean, that's something we certainly can discuss, you know, if we were and Bob traditionally has to step down, but we can revisit that issue. Well, what we I would take out the assistant chief for now, so we know exactly who that is. Well, we'll make sure well, let's put it down as, as an officer, a officer of his choosing to be the assistant. Okay. There you go. That's good. Okay. Fire marshal. Okay. All right. So we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Uh, second for 
Okay, let's discuss. Okay, now we're appointing that he's, right now he's not certified. But is he going to be able to issue any? Within 12 months. You've got to be certified within 12 months, by law. Yeah, Mr. Carter, uh, the same as the county's principal for their code enforcement individuals, they are sworn in by the, as a officer of the court, sworn in by the city itself. Therefore, they'd be able to issue citations into our court. That's what it would be. <coughs> Should the case be transferred to state court, it would hold on to state court. But what I'm talking about is the school part. I can prefer into inspection. Well, when we started this thing, you know, we uh, decided that since I was authority having jurisdiction to see what like part, I did have the authority to perform the inspection. You know, about 20 years off the court, and I should be able to issue fines. I do plan on going to school, like I said, next year. I wouldn't do it this year, but they just, every time I would schedule the class to go, it said in Anderson, Alabama, so you may, you know, I had to take a full week off from work, and every time I tried, something happened, and I couldn't get away from work at that particular week, and then the class would be, you know, so uh, I've, I've already talked to everybody. I've got, I've got plans to go this, this coming year, 2015. I haven't looked to see when the first class is available. I think it's going to be in March. But if it's earlier, we'll certainly try to run it before I can go in. Yeah. So, so you're allowed to act as, as fire marshal pending your, your schooling? Uh, yes. This that was verified by the county fire marshal. He said the same thing. Matter of fact, he's the one that got us involved in this to begin with because we had to pull an inspection at the county health department because it's in the city limits of Lake Park. He stated itself that we've been having authority or have been authority have jurisdiction in Lake Park. I didn't have the authority to perform inspections. So uh, certainly that's not a substitute for the schools, you know, because uh, we ran into things that, you know, that, some of us over my head sometimes. Matter of fact, I had a conversation with him yesterday. I expected the governor on Lake Boulevard at the former bank that was divided into two offices. And the uh, panel box is on one side, and the other office doesn't have access to it. So I had to refer to him to see how to handle that. We're we'll trying to find a specific code that says, you know, they've got to have 24 hour access to that panel box. If they don't, um, you know, I'm going to have to get with the owner of the building. You certainly can't hold a tenant for five years if they didn't know when they moved in. It's got to be the building owner. And he's either going to have to make some access to that panel box or he's going to have to separate the electrical so both sides have their individual panel box. Right now they're sharing the same meter and the one side pays a portion of the power bill. You know. So that's the kind of thing for running into, you know, um, that shouldn't have been approved to begin with. But like I said, we've been in such a kind of Doing the inspection, so. All right. Everything that you're talking about doing is already authorized under your city code and regular dangerous structures. There's nothing that requires, I mean, there's certainly nothing wrong with having them sworn in by the court, but that's not a requirement to give the authority to, to act. You can appoint any public officer, the city marshal, the city building inspector, or any other officer to enforce the safety various safety codes, <coughs> including, you guys have adopted the International Fire Code, the International Fire Safety Code. So all those are already in your book. All right. So we're in discussions. Any more discussion? All in favor.